So when I tried to play 50 hours in four days during the tier credit multiplier at Caesars uh, properties, did the multiplier credits apply to poker? I filmed a little bit as it was happening. So I'm gonna go back in time, show you those clips, and I'll answer this. All right, it is for me right now, Monday, February 5th. It is early, it is uh, almost noon, and I haven't played yet. So this is what my tier credit score is before I went out to play on the first day of the tier credit multiplier stretch. And let me take you to the graphics now. So here's me logged into my account before I go out and play on day one. So before any play during this period, I have 1,289 tier credits and there you go. I will play later today and I will add up uh, the hours and the tier credits and show you what it is when the day is done. I'm back after day one of play during this promo period. So to remind you how it works, in real time, we get like one-to-one. -one. We get what we would earn without the promo period. And then after the promo period is over, if this applies to poker, we get everything extra. So I played uh, about 6.72 hours at Bally's, earning 17 tier credits per hour, and 6.25 hours at Caesars today, earning 34 tier credits an hour. So 6.72 multiplied by 17, add to that, 6.25 multiplied by 34 and I should have about 327 more tier credits than I did before I started play today Let's go to the graphics and see if that's the case and that is the case So you can see right here after I get the circle over there 623 tier credits if you add 327 to what I showed you before I went out to play today I should have about 1616 and I have 1623 There's like a few minutes as I'm racking up walking around going to the bathroom that I don't count uh, in my time, but I am still logged in. So yeah, I expected 1616 and it's a little more than that accounting for those few minutes. All right, I am between days two and three of play. Day two of play is done. Day three has yet to happen. So on day two, between limit at Bally's and all my Caesars play, that was about six hours. And then it was about 2.8 hours at one three Bally's. So add up all those tier credits and the total is at the bottom. Now, add that total to, I think it was 1,629, my tier credit score after day one was finished, and now you have the number that I should have right now when I log into my account after day two, but before day three, let's go to the account now. So I left you off and it was 1629, add 253, and that comes out to uh, roughly 1,884. As expected, now up to 1,884 after the second day. Okay, day three is done. So between days three and four of the challenge, uh, on the bottom is the math. It's uh, the first set of numbers in the parentheses is the hours at Bally's, which was 17 tier credits per hour, then plus, then the number in the second parentheses is the hours <coughs> I got in at Caesars, and that adds up to an amount of tier credits, and that amount plus the amount I left you off on yesterday should be what I see when I log in to my account right now. So we left off at 1,884, add the 183 that I earned after day three, and yeah, it comes out to about 2,069, uh, give or take a few. So right now, after day three of the challenge, 2,069 tier credits. All right, so uh, day four, is done for me, you know, from those uh, video, that video series during the challenge, didn't play much on day four. It was like an hour almost at Bally's, math on the bottom, and like 20 minutes at Caesars. So that number that is on your bottom right-hand side of the screen, add that to the tier credit amount you just saw. And when I go log in, that's the amount we should see. So left you off with 2,069 tier credits and I got 28. Not much, but that's what I got on day uh, four of this challenge. And you add those two numbers together and you wind up with about 2,096 tier credits, which is what my account shows when four days of the challenge are done. All right, so this is the math. Uh, I got to bring up a chart, create a chart. Let's get some uh, headings in there. So I'm going to show you all these things, the game, the hours, and, you know, the expected tier credit uh, addition that should show up in my account one day. So these were the four games I played. Bally's 1-3. No Limit, Bally's 4-8 Limit, the Bally's Free Roll, the Player Appreciation Tournament, and Caesar's Palace 1-3 No Limit. This is how many hours I played at each game. So Bally's 1-3, if I multiply that by 17, that's how many tier credits I got in real time. Bally's 4-8, 
multiply that by 35. The Bally's PAT, um, it's a tournament, so there's nothing. Multiply that by zero. And Caesars Palace 1 3, multiply that by 34. Also, every game at Caesars is 34 tier credits an hour. So, this column in the middle, tier credits without the multiplier, that's how many tier credits I got in real time. But let's take that hours column and now multiply it by five. This fourth column is how many tier credits I get when the multiplier is actually in effect and I get credit for all that. So that's the hours multiplied by, you know, whether it was 17 or 34, however many I get for playing that game, and then multiplied by five, what I get with the multiplier. But since column three is the only one I get in real time, it's the additional ones that I stand to receive in the future, and that is the final column that I named difference. It's column four minus column three. So for playing all my Bally's one three no limit, uh, I got 277 in real time, but I stand to get an additional 1,108 in the future. It says uh, it takes up to two weeks to hit your account. So that's what that column difference is. And if you sum all of the tier credits in the column difference, that sum is 3,164. So at some day in the near future, I should log into my account, see a certain amount of tier credits, and then like a few days or an hour later, without any play in any Caesars Palace poker room, I should see that number increase by 3,164. So let's wait and see if that day happens. So after that challenge was done, after those four days of the multiplier period were done, I kept track about daily for about like 10 days, two weeks. And let me show you that, uh, those pictures of the snapshots of my account now. So the multiplier period ended on the 8th. Here is a look at my tier credit score on the 9th, 2,154. Then on the 10th, early on the 10th, 2,220. And then on the 11th, 2,336. That extra 3,000 credits not coming in yet. And then on the 13th, 2,487. It's going up because I was playing a little bit uh, most days, but not getting that extra 3,000. Then on the 14th, Valentine's Day, 2,603. Then on the 17th, 2,847, still no extra 3,000 credits. Then on the 18th, 2,861, and then the last time I bothered to look it up for purposes of this video, on the 20th, a total of 3,041. So it was going up because I was playing, but it never came in those extra, whatever's supposed to be like 3,100 something to your credits, never came in. So ultimately, no, uh, those credits did not apply this time, which is uh, apt. That's what I said uh, last summer in August in Council Bluffs. There's no one who can answer you beforehand. You don't know beforehand. Play if you want, play a little if you want, play a lot if you want, and afterwards you figure out. They either come in or they don't. Last August they did, last February they did. This December and January, according to other people, they didn't. This February, I'm telling you, they didn't. So they have before, they didn't this time. Next time, who knows? And remember, rice is a spoon food.